Jesus. Another voltage drop test. We've got the little inverter uh, cover off of this downsized inverter on this Generation 3 2010 Prius removed and the little shorting bar on the low voltage safety switch that tells the computer, hey, we've got something disconnected, better shut the hybrid high voltage system down. We've got that removed and we've got it back in the hole so that we can work live. Remember, this is nothing to do for a technician who's not had sufficient hands-on hybrid training. This is pretty advanced stuff. I want to show you something that's pretty neat though. Inside this inverter cover, we have the DC, the AC cables for motor generator number one and number two. We have a fuse right down in here. And uh, that little fuse, a fam familiar looking type of design, it kind of looks like a larger version of a fluke meter fuse. Sand filled for safety's sake, gets hot, sand keeps it cool. It's a $40 fuse, it's for the air conditioning system. Lay it right there on my tech stream. And we've got 201 volts. Now, let's turn the air conditioning on. That voltage, of course, stays. If we measure the other side of the fuse, same 214 volts. So both sides of the fuse have 214 volts. That's what we basically do with the meter and a fuse panel and a normal 12-volt fuse panel. This is just a bigger version of that. Would you ever see voltage drop across the fuse? I suppose when these things get older, start getting some electrolysis and corrosion going on, maybe some rust, we could have a fuse not making a good connection internally. So we'll measure across that fuse. Now what should we see across the fuse? It's got power applied to both sides because the fuse is good. We should see no voltage drop. That's exactly what we see. So a little tip on checking that AC, alternating current, no, DC current, air conditioning fuse to this DC mini inverter compressor used in late model Toyota and Lexus.